Good evening, and welcome to the scholarship recipients, families and friends, donors, CCC staff, and community members joining us tonight. Thank you for joining us for this evening at our annual scholarship recognition ceremony. My name is Bill Mullaney, and I serve as the president of the college. Here at Corning Community College, we strive to support our students as they work towards transforming their lives and the lives of those closest to them. This event in particular is one of the most rewarding events as we continue our tradition of showcasing the talents and dedication of our students, as well as the generosity and support of alumni, donors, and community members. This year, 78 students have been awarded over $134,000 in scholarships for the 2021 academic year. Over the course of 20 years working in community colleges, when I've heard students talk about the obstacles that they have faced, it often comes down to access to resources. They have the intelligence and the drive to succeed, but often struggle financially. We saw this so clearly during the pandemic when we learned that students lacked laptops and money for Wi-Fi. Fortunately, with the Student Emergency Fund and the Laptop Loaner Program, we were able to help out with those needs. The college is so incredibly fortunate to have wonderful individuals serving on the Regional Board of Trustees and the College Development Foundation Board, people who are committed to our students, understand their challenges, and do everything in their power to support them. This evening, you will hear from some of our donors about why they have established scholarships at the college, from our students about what it meant to receive their awards, and from our Foundation Board President to wrap things up. I hope you will enjoy this virtual event and I look forward to seeing all of you in person very soon. Thank you. Well, Hudson, and I'm very happy to, to chat with you today. I grew up in Corning and my father, uh, Dr. Jim Hudson, taught music at CCC for a very long time. I think retired in, oh gosh, 20, 2002 maybe, I can't remember, it's so, it seems so long ago. But uh, as a matter of fact, I actually taught for a short while up at CCC for my father when he was on a sabbatical or a sick leave. Uh, but it's great to be here and to kind of chat here a little bit about what we're doing. So my family's connection with CCC was initially with my dad uh, teaching music up there, actually starting a music program up at CCC. Uh, as I said, I grew up in Corning, went to Corning Painted Post East High, and went through the whole Kent Phillips, Northside Blodgett, East High, all of which seemed to no longer be there. Kent Phillips was torn down and now it's a sports field. Northside Blodgett was just taken down and East High isn't anything what it used to be when I went there. So much, much larger. Uh, so family grew up there. Mom taught in the public schools according to Paint and Post. And uh, I actually did a lot of, as a as an undergrad student at Crane School of Music, right there, um, was uh, I took a lot of my, my uh, liberal arts courses through CCC because of the benefit of dad. Dad having taught there, uh, we got a, a, a reduced cost for taking those credits during the summer as it may, but you know, what do you, what else do you have to do during the summertime except take collegiate courses, right? <laughs> so we've started the James Hudson, what we're now calling James Hudson Memorial Scholarship, and it's essentially was created or was to have been created by former students of his uh, back when he retired. And for some reason it got you know, caught up and didn't didn't come to fruition. Uh, but then when I was uh, cleaning out some of my parents' uh, uh, house, uh, dad passed away last year. And this I thought was a perfect time for for he to, or for, for us to start a scholarship in his, in his uh, memory. Uh, and it is awarded or will be awarded to a music, primarily a music student, uh, preferably somebody who's moving on to music education, uh, voice performance, or uh, in any, really any, any uh, sort of music education program. Dad started a, a, a lot of stuff in connection with Mansfield University, as well as Ithaca College, uh, and surrounding, uh, you know, liberal arts schools that had music programs, but those were the two primary ones. So hopefully this is a, an incentive and a way to memorialize Dad in terms of uh, his offerings and, and really what he not only brought to CCC in terms of music, but to the to the entire Corning community uh, for music education, music awareness, uh, 
He had a, a strong focus on advancement of women in music performance and choral conducting. So I thought this was a nice way, and the family thought that this was a nice way to really uh, remember dad and to also allow students to, to benefit from, from what he provided to our community. So as, as we uh, look forward to, to students receiving this scholarship, as, as you know, the cost of, of going to school uh, is, is crazy expensive. And you know, the cost of books, this is why I work for McGraw Hill Ed Education. The cost of books are very, very costly and hopefully this will help kind of uh, ease that pain of, of purchasing. But don't forget, you need to purchase books, okay? Because I need that for me, anyhow. But uh, so, but yeah, absolutely. Whether it be room and board or, or any sort of housing or books, textbooks, or, you know, just, just cost of going to school. So this, this will maybe make a little impact or, or make life a little bit easier for those students who receive that scholarship. So I would like to, to thank all the other donors who contribute to advancing the education and awareness of the importance of, of, of continuing our education uh, in donations to all scholarships at CCC. And I do encourage if, if you wanna make a donation, you certainly can do so, you know, either in my father's uh, memory or uh, numerous other opportunities that CCC offers its students for scholarship. My family and I were so overwhelmed with happiness and we were so excited that we got help towards my tuition. Winning this award meant so much to me and the sense of community. The New York State Federation of Home Bureaus, Inc. has such an amazing mission statement of sisterhood and giving to the community. To be chosen for their scholarship made me ecstatic and motivated to do great things and be a positive role model for the community, just like they do every day. The pandemic that we are currently experiencing, um, you know, paying for school uh, by myself currently through um, financial aid and my own income working full time um, has been significant. Uh, you know, COVID has impacted my current job and I am um, having to support three young children and myself and my wife and um, having the additional uh, scholarship money to help me get through this semester has meant that my family can eat, um, <laughs> that I can afford my schools and not have to take out additional loans. Um, it means that I have gas to make it to clinical. Um, it means that my mortgage can be paid. You know, all of those things it, it, it took our pressure off of all of those things so that I could um, continue on with my education. It's helped me see that all of the effort and time that I put in actually means something and that it's made a difference. And so my father valued education a lot and he passed that on to me. Um, and so finding out that I got this, it's helped me realize that I'm doing something that would make him proud. And so that it's really helped me to relax and realize that everything that I've done has been worth it. After I found out I received this award, I was so beyond excited and shocked. I was actually at work when it happened. I was just on my phone scrolling through my emails and when I saw it, it felt so unreal. I immediately took a screenshot and I sent it to my parents and they were congratulating me and it just felt so good. When I received this scholarship, I was very thankful and excited because it allows me to concentrate more on school and not so much on the financial aspect of it. It, just, it made me so happy. I was, I was, I was so excited. Um, I like wanted to tell everyone, I did tell everyone, but it just, and honestly, it brought like so much relief knowing that like, okay, I do work two jobs and then I am a full-time student on top of that. And so just knowing that any part of anything is covered or taken care of um, is so, it's like takes weight off my shoulders and just helps me to better focus and like maintain my attention on 
you know, classes and the work and stuff like that. So it just, it really, it like really impacted and like, it made me so happy. After receiving the email that I had been chosen as the recipient for the scholarships, I was completely ecstatic. I couldn't wait to tell my family and I called my parents right away. They were super happy for me and very proud. I come from a family of many healthcare workers, including my late grandmother, my mom, many aunts and lots of cousins. I currently work at Corning Hospital as a per diem unit clerk and during COVID-19 I wasn't working as many hours so the scholarships came at a great time. I have really appreciated that they have lightened my financial burden. I am a third semester nursing student at CCC and that comes with lots of time studying and the scholarships have also provided more time that I can focus on my studies. When I found out I received this scholarship, I was excited and extremely grateful. I've wanted to return to school for so long, and the one thing that always prevented me was the ability to afford it. When I found out that I received this scholarship, I was very surprised and excited too. I felt very good because this scholarship and receiving it indicates that hard work is always rewarded in this place able to go home as well and tell my family and tell my grandmother who's actually a CCC alumni from the nursing program and seeing the smile come across her face just put so much joy and so much warmth into my heart and it felt amazing. I was just so happy. I was ecstatic. I was all the above. I was just so proud of myself. My family was too. When I found out I received the scholarship, I was blown away. I couldn't even process it really. I just rushed downstairs and handed my phone over to my parents for them to read the email over, just to make sure I was reading it right. I was even more excited to discover I'd received the McEnroy scholarship since the topic of environmentalism has always been an important aspect in my life. So receiving this was really quite an honor. I'm a non-traditional student that works full-time as a paramedic while attending nursing school. When I got the news, I felt as though a weight had been lifted off my shoulder, and through the use of these funds, I could live more comfortably and not have to work a ton of overtime to make ends meet. Ultimately, I feel as though I have a better chance in nursing school to excel because my time can be spent studying and preparing for exams. The scholarship will help me focus more on schooling and not my job. I currently work five days a week, and if I didn't get the scholarship, I would probably have to pick up more shifts to cover my tuition. So getting the scholarship just allows me to put my focus on school and studying and getting good grades and succeeding. This scholarship helps me with tuition and it will help me continue my education in the CCC nursing program to reach my ultimate goal of getting my bachelor's in nursing. This scholarship will help you be successful in college. It will help you not stress about ha not having a job. I can focus on my studies, especially in these tough times with COVID-19. This scholarship, simply put, will help me pay for college. College is one of, if not, the most expensive things a person can do. Kids are told to save for college. Kids also can't come up with tens of thousands of dollars. This forces them to take out a loan, which can put them in crippling debt for a very long time. For those who don't know, crippling debt is not good. It'll help me pay for my books, supplies, and all the classes I'm taking this semester. And it'll help me graduate on time like I wanted by taking extra classes over winter and summer semesters. So coming from a poor background for me to be able to attend college and not have this massive burden hanging over me of what if this is a mistake, but if you should just go into the Lord for us now is really helpful. These scholarships are really important and they're extremely helpful for students to be able to afford to continue their education. In my case, specifically because I've started later, I had to take an extra year of courses that won't count towards my degree. So I will exhaust my financial aid before I'm finished at Corning. So the uh, ability to have this scholarship and have access to this to help 
smooth that transition a little bit to help afford my books and to help keep me in school longer before I have to start taking out loans, which are also intimidating, is such a relief mentally and financially and it, it does relieve a lot of stress. I feel that this scholarship will help me in so many ways. Being from a long line of farmers, we have this mentality of are we going to be able to afford this? Are we going to be able to provide for our family? And that is something that is always looming in the background. Are we going to be able to afford this? How are we going to afford this? Where will we get that money and resources from? So now that I have and have been awarded the scholarship, I feel that I don't have to worry about those worries and anxieties as much. My future goals and plans after CCC are to transfer to another college and get a full-time job. After graduating from CCC, I plan to move on and receive my bachelor's in nursing. I would like to work in geriatrics and eventually become an adult geriatric nurse practitioner. After graduation, I hope to set up a bilingual daycare in the local area to provide a place for children and the parents who are interested to learn Chinese culture and language. After CCC, I plan to um, become a registered nurse and hopefully go on to become a nurse practitioner. Uh, I've always just wanted to help people. I've always had a passion for the medical field and being in uh, both these new visions my senior year, I got to see different careers and I figured that I figured out that I really wanted to become a nurse and that's my passion. My future plans beyond CCC are attending the University of Rochester to complete my bachelor's in nursing and then eventually going on to my master's to be a NICU nurse practitioner. Um. My plans for after CCC, my goals, I hope to graduate and become a New York State Trooper. Donations to scholarships truly make a difference. 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 Donations to scholarships truly makes a difference. Donations to scholarships truly make a difference. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 As we come to a close on tonight's celebration, I congratulate all of our scholarship recipients for your hard work and dedication to your education. You are our future, and the foundation stands ready to support your journey. I wish you the very best and urge you to pay it forward by joining and supporting the Alumni Association upon graduation. Together, we help the college and future students succeed. I would also like to extend appreciation to all of our scholarship donors. Without your passion and support, many of the students honored here tonight would struggle to achieve their dreams. We are grateful for your ongoing support and investment in their education. Thank you for joining us tonight in this unique celebration. I look forward to seeing you all again next year. Please stay healthy and vibrant.